Hello, this is Sky Limit High, and back with episode 3 of Scratch Basics. Now, if you're new to this series, please click the links in the description for our previous episodes. Let's jump right into it. So, as you can see, I opened a new project and named it Ask and Answer and kept the default Scratch Cat. Today, we'll be covering mostly the Ask and Answer block and the Forever and If block. So, first off, what is the ask block? The ask block is a way to get user input, and it basically asks the user uh, whatever question is inside this oval. So, in this case, it'll ask, what is your name? And whatever the user enters gets saved into answer. So, let's try it out. First, drag a when green flag clicked block into the workspace and drag ask block right underneath it. When we click green flag, the cat asks, what is your name? And we can enter Bob. And as you can see, the answer gets saved into the answer block. Let's try answering something different. Joe. Now answer becomes Joe. Let's try to make a parrot that can repeat whatever you say. Let's delete that by dragging it into your blocks and then click this trash can to delete the cat. And let's choose a parrot sprite. So scroll down until you see parrot and click on it. And here you go, we have a parrot. Let's first make the parrot centered. So make it go to zero, zero. Once our parrot's in the center, we can start making the parrot ask us to say something. So simply drag an ask block underneath the go to block and type in say something in the oval. Now when we click flag, the parrot will say say something and we can say hello. If we click this white square to show the answer, you can see the answer is hello. We want our parrot to repeat whatever we say. So go to looks and drag this say block right underneath this ask block. Now drag the answer block into the oval so that it fits. It should click like this. Now when we click the green flag, the parrot says say something and let's say hello and the parrot immediately responds hello if you want to add a little delay you can just simply drag a wait block right in between the ask and say blocks and press green flag say hello and the parrot will add a wait one second and then say hello let's try to make our parrot answer our question. First we want the parrot to say ask a question and then we want to go to control and drag this if block right underneath. An if block checks if the thing in it is true and if it is true then everything inside it will run. So let's just say if 1 equals to 1, then say, say hello. So when we run this, I just type something in. The parrot will always say hello because 1 always equals to 1. We want it to say if the answer equals to a specific question, then the parrot will answer with the correct answer. So drag this answer block right into the first oval and change the second oval to how are you doing so when we ask how are you doing everything inside this if command will run let's say when we ask how are you doing then the parrot will say very good so now when we run this and we ask, how are you doing? 
the parrot will ask, very good. I mean, the parrot will answer, very good. Now we can add more questions by duplicating this. Right click and press duplicate and change the question to something else like, what is your name? And we can make the parrot say, parrot. Now, when you ask, what is your name, the parrot will respond with Perry. We can continue duplicating questions and making more. Like, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? And make the parrot answer with blue. So now when we run this, we can ask, what is your favorite color? And Perry will answer blue. If you want the user to continuously ask questions, then you can go to control and drag a forever block right here. And make sure you include the ask block on the top so that the forever block encloses everything from ask to the last if. When we do this, we can ask, how are you doing? And Perry will say, very good. What is your name? Perry. You can see Perry only flashed for a split second. So if we want it to save for a bit longer, then we can drag this wait block underneath each say block. So the Perry will say uh, whatever his response is for one second. Now when we say how are you doing, Perry will respond with very good. And if we say what is your name, then Perry will say Perry. And if we say what is your favorite color, then Perry will say blue. You can keep adding your own questions and answers by just keep duplicating this and dragging it to the last under the last if okay that's it for this video thank you for watching and please like and subscribe